Hello, this is Jamie with Creations Misfit, and today I'm going to show you how to make these reusable uh, water balloons. These are really quick, super easy, and they're sustainable. They can be reused um, so that you're not wasting money and everything on regular water balloons. You just fill these up with water. You can actually just get a bucket. I soak them in there, and then the kids can keep throwing them, um, you know, until the water runs out, and then you just dump it, dump dunk it, excuse me, in the bucket again, and they're washable, you know, so they're a great time, um, eco-friendly, sustainable water balloons. So um, I've been making these for years, along with a lot of other people. I know there's a lot of tutorials out for them already, but I did have a few people reach out to me this past um, couple months and ask for a pattern tutorial. So here we go. So what you will need is some, um, I use Bernat blanket yarn or any kind of blanket yarn like the chenille size six and you'll need about 30 yards. So it's good for your ends. You know, you can get rid of some of that yarn. And then I use, um, let's see, an, well, you could use an eight or a nine millimeter hook. I'm going to use an eight because that's what I have sitting here right now. And then you'll need some scissors and a yarn needle to sew in your ends. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I start this with a magic circle. If you'd rather do four chains, then you can slip stitch into the first chain and then you'll have a circle there that you can work into. But I feel like the magic circle closes up better. If you need uh, more help with that, I'll put a card up here in the corner and you can click on that. I have a tutorial for the magic circle. But this is how I do mine. I just put my yarn over my fingers in the back, turn it around and make an X. I go under this one, over this one, and pull up a loop. And then we are going to chain after that. So I just chain while it's still on my fingers. You could go under this piece and do one chain there. And then you have your circle. And you can pull this if you need to close it up a little bit. Sometimes with the chenille yarn, it's a little harder, but it um, it closes up nicely. So we just chained one, and we need to chain one more. And now our chains are not going to count as stitches. So from here, we want to do eight double crochet into this circle that we just made. So the chain does not count as a stitch, so we're just going to do eight double crochet. One, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, seven, and Eight. All right, then we're going to pull our string and close the magic circle. And like I said, sometimes with the chenille yarn, it's a little harder to pull at first. I have broken this a lot um, in doing that, but it does close up nicely. All right, so there we go. We have eight double crochet, and we're going to slip stitch to the very first double crochet, not to that chain two but make sure you get into that stitch. If you want to count your stitches around, you can do that to make sure you're getting into the correct one. Okay, and then we are going to chain up two to start round two. And for round two, we're just going to go around and do two double crochet in every stitch around. All right, so make sure you get into that first one because this is not, our chain two does not count as a double crochet. So we're going to do one, two double crochet in that first stitch, and then two in the next, and we will repeat that around until you have 16 double crochet. So you can pause the video and do yours. If this, if you need to pull this tighter, you can pull that tight if it, if it looks like it's opening up. So do two double crochet around, and I will see you back after this round. Okay, and at the end of round two, you are going to slip stitch into that very first stitch again, the very first double crochet that we made. I went ahead, <laughs> excuse me, and um, I sewed in my tail that was here. 
just because once we start getting the balloon like smaller, it's going to be hard to get in there. So you might want to sew that in. All right, moving on to round three, we're going to chain up two. And now for rounds three, four, and five, we're going to do the same thing for each one. We are going to do one double crochet in every stitch around. So make sure you get into that very first one. And we're just going to do a double crochet all the way around. There will be 16 total for each round. And when you get to the end of the round, slip stitch to the first chain or for, to the first double crochet chain up two and then go around again. So that's three, this is row three, round three. And then we're gonna also do round four and round five on our own. And so I will meet you back after round five. All right, I finished up round five and we just have a few more rounds left. So at the end of round five, we're going to chain up two and we're gonna start decreasing to get to the bottom of our balloon. So we are just going to do a round of decrease, which means double crochet two together. So to do that, you're gonna yarn over and go into the first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And then you're gonna yarn over and go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. So that's double crochet two together. And we're gonna do that all the way around for a total of eight um, double crochet two togethers, and then you will have eight stitches at the end of the round. So I'll show you how to do that one more time. Yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, just like you're doing a regular double crochet. But then before yarning over and pulling through the last two, we're gonna yarn over and go into the next stitch pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. All right, so just go around and do your double crochet two togethers and we will have eight at the end of this round and then finish off with a slip stitch. Okay, and at the end of round six, we slip stitch to close and we should have eight stitches. Now it's getting kind of tight in there. I know it's a little difficult, but we just have one more um, uh, decrease round here. So we're going to chain up two for round seven and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna do decreases around. So double crochet two together and you will do this four times, which will leave you with four stitches. So I'll just stay out and do mine. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. I hope this is helpful. Please feel free to subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know how this worked out for you, um, if you've used these before, or what colors you're making, who you're making it for. I'd love to hear that stuff. And also, um, I'm, on Creations Misfit, or I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Creations Misfit. If you'd like to tag me in, in your project, or if you make any of my patterns, I have a lot on my channel, so please feel free to take a look. And if you make anything, tag me in it. I'd love to see it. All right, so when we get around to the end, we're going to slip stitch into that first double crochet again, which is really tight to get into, but it's okay. So slip stitch. And then we just have one round left to do like the little uh, bottom part of our balloon. And, oops. Okay, to do that, we are going to chain up one, and we're gonna do two single crochet in each stitch around. So we should have four stitches left, and we're going to increase to get that little, um, the bottom of the balloon. So we're gonna do two single crochet in this first stitch, two single crochet in the second stitch, this is the third stitch, and the fourth and final stitch. All right, and then you'll slip stitch to the beginning. Might be kind of hard to get into, but just do your best to get into that first uh, single crochet. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
this yarn this yarn is beautiful to work with for blankets and everything but sometimes when your stitches are smaller it's hard to get into good lord okay I'm getting through one loop which is good enough all right and then we're going to tie off but i want you to tie kind of a long string because we're going to sew around so tie off a little bit of a long string pull your yarn through and here is what your balloon should look like so far but we're going to go around the bottom part to kind of bring that together a little bit more so grab your yarn needle and get your yarn on there and then we're just going to kind of go in and out of these stitches around the bottom here it doesn't have to be perfect by any means i first go through the top here to kind of bring it through underneath and then i just go in and out of the stitches around a little bit make sure you don't go back through where you started <laughs> Then it'll just keep coming out the same side. So just go around a little bit, weaving in and out. This just makes the bottom part stand out a little bit more. Okay, and then you can pull it tight. And it gives it a little bit of a definition on the bottom. And then from there you can just, um, I usually just go through some stitches like up the balloon I do that a couple times in different directions just to kind of hide my tail and then you don't have to really sew it sew it in It's probably fine now, but I always go like one extra just to make sure. All right, and then you can just cut your yarn from there. And then your project is done. So all you have to do is get some water, somebody to throw this at, <laughs> or a wall to throw it at. It's a great stress reliever. We used to throw them up against the brick walls <laughs> when the kids were here. So um, I hope that this was helpful, pro a helpful project for you, and let me know how it worked out. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.